Hey, what's going on? It's Low Flow Nose back at you with another Tech Take. And today, my friends, we're taking a look at the Donner Podcast Console Bundle. I've been using the Donner for about a week now, and I'm ready to share with you my final thoughts and impressions on this all-in-one podcast bundle. Now, the first thing you're probably going to notice from this little guy is, well, just that. This guy is pretty little, little, but don't let that fool you because this little guy packs a punch. So many all-in-one podcast bundles. As time progresses, they're just getting better in the sound they produce, uh, the cleanness, the efficiency, and just kind of the smartness. Now, what makes this one so different from all the all-in-ones? I mean, yeah, they're all sounding good. They're all doing something. What makes the Donner so special and unique? Well, we're going to get into that in this video uh, today, so let's get straight into it. First thing I want to talk about is the inputs for this audio interface. So let's go from one end to the other in order. First, of course, you have your power button. Hold that down for a couple seconds. Seconds, It'll turn it on and off. Of course, you have your Bluetooth button, your Bluetooth pairing button, so you can pair with multiple devices. You know the status by your Bluetooth light right there. And of course, you have a USB-C port, so you can use this in two different ways. First, to charge your all-in-one podcast bundle. Yes, there is a built-in battery in this, so you can go podcasting anywhere on the go without needing to connect this to a power source and anything like that. Secondly, this USB-C port also acts as a data port as well, so you can connect this to a Mac, a laptop, a computer, so you can record to your device and also record devices from there into it as well as a true audio interface. Next, you have your headphones buttons. Of course, you can connect your headphones. You have a audio out, so you can use this as your speakers or use this to a recording device. Like right now, I'm, I'm recording directly to an external recording device from the out. You have one, two, and three, I like to call these the live ports, meaning that you can connect your cell phone to these ports and also record whatever's, whatever audio is coming from your cell phone, but at the same time, have a Zoom conversation or telephone conversation and record that through the interface from these from these ports right here. And you have one, two, three again, so you could technically have three callers coming in and of course your two, uh, your two mics for this device. I'll give you an example of that later when it comes to the telephone call. You have one aux in where you can use a separate device as another as another audio aux into this device, such as maybe a mixer, an MP3 player, a tablet or a phone, whatever it is, yeah, you now have an additional port there. So you have one, two, three, four total ports, one with stereo one, and then you have three live buttons as well. Then you have two instrument ports or a XLR 6.35 millimeter uh, port to either power your microphone that comes with it the bundle or you can put an instrument into here as well now if you if you have a traditional xlr microphone that you want to connect to this yeah you could connect this to it but you'd have to find some intermediary de intermediary device to actually go into the instrument port you would just have to look into that but yeah you can add additional ports but i'm telling you right now you're probably hearing this already as i'm speaking the microphone on this on this podcast bundle it sounds better than you would ever think, especially because it's not a proper XLR. It's not a proper XLR microphone as you would, you know, per se. I was blown away. Now, I do have my voice kind of juiced up just a little bit, a little bit from the using the bass to be in the trouble, make it sound a little bit nicer. But you can do the same thing as well. So we'll get into that a little further on in the video. Now let's talk about the face of the podcast workstation. You get 12 effects, eight that are already pre-programmed and then four that you can customize yourself. And those effects, of course, they go from clap. Oops, pick it up. Cheer, laugh, boom, cry, scream, shame, and kiss. Oh, 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 thank you. And you have your four customizable buttons right here where you can actually just hold down the button. Once it starts flashing, you can actually start talking and it's recording it. Let go. And now that is your effect. Once it starts flashing, you can actually start talking and it's recording it. Like, there you go. Just like that. And of course, you can put four custom set, four custom effects from A, B, C, and D. Now let's move over to the left and we'll see we have five faders here. And these faders consist of three EQ faders, one reverb fader, and one music fader. Now, of course, like I said before, I've got my audio dialed in real nice for to get my voice sounding real nice and full and sexy, I think. Uh, but of course, you can change it so you can take the bass away and, of course, add a little more bass, a little too much bass, and somewhere in the middle. Now, when you're dragging your faders, you're going to feel that right here in the middle, it's going to hit unity, kind of like a right there in the middle. 
So you'll have that tactile feel when that actually happens right there. But let's go ahead and add a little more bass into my voice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you hear how good that sounds? I wish somehow I could get the mic closer to my face more often. But because it's like this, you're kind of like dealt with that. But if I could be talking like this the entire time. What? Uh, okay. Let me back up. Maybe that it shouldn't be that close. All right. So, of course, you have your mids, your trebles, and, of course, your reverb. When we activate our reverb, we'll see, we'll, we'll get into that. And of course your music, the music fader deals with the volume coming from all the effects and also any kind of volume that's coming from us, your smart device um, into the, uh, the other live devices. Um, yeah, any kind of additional audio that's coming in, the music fader will adjust with those. Going over right here to the top, of course you have your gain. This is for your mic. Now we saw before that you can connect two microphones to that, this one dial here will control the volume of both microphones. So make sure you're dialed in for that. And of course, you have your master mix out here. This this controls, of course, the overall volume uh, or overall uh, master mix of everything. So right now, like I said before, I'm connected to my recorder. I can play with my master mix right here, and that'll adjust with that. So I'm going to leave it right back where it was. Now let's get to the center where we have six functions to enhance your broadcasting or podcasting needs. First, we'll start with an auto-tune. So all you do is just kind of press it and it activates it. And automatically you can hear my auto-tune is in effect at this point. And if I want to change it, all I do is just tap auto-tune and it'll go through the different keys as I'm giving you this example of what the auto-tune is all about. If I want to turn auto-tune off, all I do is hold down the auto-tune button for a couple of seconds and it'll turn itself off. Now, you're also gonna get a gate button as well. This gate helps with noise level that are happening in the background. Now, you may be hearing some kind of hiss in the background. We can get, get rid of that immediately by pressing the gate button, and it brings, that, it brings that down. Of course, it throws up a gate, so whenever we're not using the microphone, that gate comes right up, and then when I start talking, the gate comes right down. This will really help lessen the unwanted noise that you want coming in when you're not speaking. Now, keep this in mind. Since there is a gate, you might get a, a, a sensation like it's cutting off your voice. So you definitely want to find some, I found out that when you're using the gate, you, you want to find a way to be a little closer to the mic so it's not so predominant when it seems to be, when the gate's affecting your voice. There we go. But we'll leave the gate on through the rest of this video and see how well it, it works. Now, we also have a shaper button. What the shaper button does is it ducks down the any kind of audio that's coming in. And as you're speaking, it'll automatically bring down the volume of that. So let's go ahead to my phone. I'm going to find, I'm going to go to a, an audio source. We'll start playing something from there. All right, so there we go. Of course, I can use the music dial to play with the, the music. But if I want to, let me just press shaper. And as I'm speaking, the volume of the bed just kind of goes down in the background. And when I stop talking, it comes right back up. So that's that's really cool. That's always cool because a lot of times if okay, I'm trying to press pause, press stop. All right, let's go. My phone is not responding. Thank you very much. So yeah, I'll turn that off. Yeah, and that works tremendously, especially if you want to have like a cool little bed in the background and you want to talk over it without it being too obtrusive. You can put the shaper on there so you can have that effect when you're broadcasting or podcasting. Broadcasting and podcasting are the same thing. I think you know what I'm talking about. Let's move on. Let's go to the reverb. And of course, a reverb, we just click that and it throws a reverb onto your vocal. Now, when you use the reverb fader, this will introduce on how much reverb you want in the single signal. Do you want a lot or do you just want a little bit of reverb? And of course, if you tap the reverb, it'll play with the different plates of reverb that you can experiment for your broadcast. Let's hold that down, turn it off. And we'll bring that right back down. Now we also have the loopback button. The loopback button is very important, especially if you're using a, a laptop or a computer to actually record your broadcast or your podcast. Meaning this, by default, if you connect this to your laptop, you're just going to record directly to the software of your laptop. But let's just say you have some audio that you want that, that's playing from your laptop and you want that into the signal as well. Well, when you press the loopback, it's going to it's going to take that signal from the laptop. It's going to send it through the audio interface and back to the computer. It's going to loop it back so you can record all the audio that's coming through. So what does that mean? All right. Well, let's just say if you're hosting someone on Zoom through the computer, it'll send that audio to the mixer and then back to the recording device or whatever you're recording it on. Keep that in mind. That's how the loop back becomes uh, so important. And of course, you have a mute button as well where you can mute yourself. 
Yeah. Now also keep in mind that since this does have a built-in battery, you get four to six hours of usage from this. So that's plenty of time for using a podcast scenario. All right, let's get straight to the live feature of this. I'm gonna call my wife right now on her cell phone. We're gonna see how that sounds like. And of course the interaction of how smooth this process goes. So I did give her the heads up that I was gonna call her. So let's do that right now. Hey, love. Yes. I'm making good on that call. Hi. Oh, you, you don't have to say that. We're just doing a video. You don't have to. That, that high should be reserved for me. It is reserved for you. Okay. All right. Well, you know, everyone else is kind of listening to it right now. How do I, how, how do I sound, love? You sound very sexy. Oh, my God. You, you got to save that stuff for me, not for the. I appreciate it. It's not really me. It's the, it's the EQ effects that I have going on in this. So it's making me sound better than I normally sound. No, you normally sound so sexy I, all the time. Okay, I appreciate that. Though. Thank you so much. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. All right, there you go. So yeah, that was, as you can see, that was super seamless. And of course, I have two additional ports. They probably get two more phone calls into there and have everyone have one big, nice conversation. Uh... <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, one last thing. So what do you get inside of the box? Well, obviously, of course, you get your all-in-one workstation right here. You do get the microphone. You get the microphone stand. You kind of you get the microphone clip here that connects the microphone to the stand. You get your XLR 6.5 35mm cable. You get a USB-C cable to USB-A cable that lets you either use it as a charging cable or a data cable. You get a 3.5mm stereo cable to connect it to recording devices or your cell phone. And you get a USB-A to USB-C adapter as well. All right, guys, let me give you my final thoughts. I think overall, you can't deny how well the microphone and the podcast bundle kit sound together. It really does sound like a premium product, especially when you dial in the EQ to really fit your voice. Either you need more vague, more bass or more treble, just dial into your voice experiment with it and you can really have some you can really get some fantastic results i love how it's just so simplified i mean yeah i i know a lot of podcast bundles can really try to impress you with a lot of fancy features but it really just brings everything right here it just gives you what you need right here simple effects simple custom pads you know some with the functions right here in the middle it's just right there available boom 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 i know what i need now i think it might be a little confusing because you have so many different external audio that's coming in all being operated by one fader that could be something but again at this point you're going for well good sounding but also very compact and portable so i get it you're going to be you're going to be adjusting those volumes from the additional sources from those devices instead of from separate devices here just keep that in mind Overall, yeah, it's a high recommendation for the Donner Podcast Bundle. Donner Podcard Podcast Workstation. Pick your name, whatever. Uh, thumb, thumbs up. For me, I was thoroughly impressed. You know, I mean, I know we're at the end of the video now, but I was like, oh, okay, it kind of looks like you're something average. By far not. It is not average at all. You know, they, they got it right where it needs to be right. Okay, guys, that's it. Really hope this video helped you out. Take care. Enjoy. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Donner Podcast bundle. Also, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other future videos. And also, hit that like button if you like what's going on here. And also, ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.